Hey guys, this is Akhar Kamid. Welcome back to my channel. Now it has been a while since I've uh, done a tutorial on uh, DaVinci Resolve. So I'm going to go ahead and show you a very creative uh, tutorial today. So uh, basically I'm just going to show you uh, the power of the tracking uh, the power of the tracking uh, feature on DaVinci Resolve. Now you can see here I'm wearing a very plain t-shirt and all I'm going to show you is how to stick any logo on your t-shirt. So in this example I've shown I'm going to show you how it's done with um, a Lightroom a logo on your t-shirt or even a DaVinci Resolve logo t-shirt. Any sort of logo guys but these are just uh, examples I'm showing you. Now let's get started guys as I said I am wearing a plain t-shirt here. So the first thing I want to do is I want to go into the uh, search bar here under library and I'm going to type in, so let's type in surface, surface tracker and then I'm going to add that node here and just make sure when you drag it in guys, just make sure that the, uh, it's all attached so you can see the green the green arrow is uh, attached to the green so make sure that is done and then all we're going to do here is we're going to click on mesh uh, actually sorry before we uh, click on mesh there's one thing that i forgot to do so what i'm going to do is once you've dragged the surface tracker we're going to just draw some uh, a triangle here like that so that's basically to show where your uh, logo is going to be. Now you see on a t-shirt we get a lot of creases. Now on here I haven't got so much but normally that would happen. And when that happens what you would do is you'd click on mesh. Now you see all these uh, uh, pinpoints here. That's just basically to show where those creases are going to be. Uh, because a, a t-shirt can never normally be straight. You can put, uh, you can reduce the amount of uh, points, or you can increase them by going on the point number limited. But this one's just fine as it is. And then what we're gonna do basically is we're gonna go on to. Uh, we're gonna just go on to track here, and then all we're gonna do, see here, you're gonna click on this arrow. So right now my pointer is halfway on the clip, so. I need to track it back and forth just so to make sure we've got that uh, accuracy but before I do that I'm going to change quality to better instead of faster and then we're going to click on the uh, tracking now you can see here the pro the progress is going up very fast because it's quite a quick clip but that's what you do normally do guys now normally I'd fast forward this video but it's only a short clip to begin with so it doesn't really matter I'll leave it just going for you guys now uh, the next thing we need to do is very very simple so uh, where my uh, cursor is pointed you can see I've got the Lightroom so normally what would I what I did normally do is because I've got the Lightroom logo on my uh, desktop here what I basically done is, uh, what I'd normally do is go on to file, import, import media, go on to the desktop and here find the Lightroom logo. Then it shows on here, but I'm sure you guys uh, know how to do that already. So once you've imported the logo that you want, you just simply just drag it on here. And now, now that we've dragged this here, what we want to do is we want to uh, drag the green arrow, the bottom green into the center green of the surface tracker then we want to take the top arrow into the uh, bottom of the uh, surface tracker there now let's go back here guys now you can see here the logo is actually st stuck on but can you see it's not it still doesn't look right and why is that we need to still uh, play around a little bit okay guys so what we're going to do is we're going to go on to the effects panel here and then what we're going to do is we're going to go on to result and then see here where it says compositing what we're going to do is we're going to change this to overlay so now it becomes like it sorry not overlay i think we'll go for soft light there now it looks a bit realistic now let's go back to this uh, clip and let's see how that pans out now if i'm going to click play now look at that guys it actually looks realistic here 
So this is what the uh, tracker thing does, the surface tracker. It's a very simple and fun process. You know, like I say, you can do this with uh, any logo. You can do this with the DaVinci Resolve. Any kind of logo, it can be a car logo, whatever you, uh, suits your needs, you know, uh, whatever, you know, you're happy with, there's no wrong or right answer. But yeah, there you go, guys. That was a very quick uh, clip. And I sh hope you guys had some fun doing this. If you did come out with some amazing... Um, uh, uh, effects with this and you've learned something new please give me a thumbs up smash that subscribe button and i'll see you guys on the next video thank you for watching